Hey babe, where are you now all day? My heart is broken. Where are you at? I'm sorry, baby. I was at a funeral. WTF? Who died? My feelings for you. I just moved to Spain, but the S is silent. My heart! I loved her! How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Easy Peasy. I'm your host David the Baker and today we're going to be taking a look on into r slash I'm 14 and this is deep. No mom, you don't understand me. I'm like totally an outcast. And you know who better to read this subreddit than me? A guy with the voice of a 14 year old. Yeah, uh, thanks puberty. Anyways, I'm sure you're ready to dive on into the video. So without further ado, let's go. Do y'all remember when Tinkerbell almost died when they weren't giving her enough attention? Now I understand her. I can imagine a 14 year old boy going up to their friends like, no guys, I'm serious. I'm just like Tinkerbell. Uh, dude, what? You guys don't understand me. Oh, so you're the one who took all our jobs. Yeah, uh, iPhone, you're you're about to get a beat down. Yo, this isn't even 14 and deep. Nah, this is boomer humor. Your attitude decides your success, not others. Yeah, uh, no, no, pretty sure you're still in third place. You can add as many addition signs as you want. No, that you're still in third. <laughs> look at the guy in first. He's just like, oh, look at this jerk. Did you know tea and biscuits give us a lesson not to fall for someone so deep that you get broke? Broken. Imagine somebody trying to explain this to somebody that's hurt them. You don't understand. I'm a biscuit and you're tea. Seriously, babe, what are you talking about? You're crumbling my heart. That moment when you realize the beginning is the same as the end. Ah, yes. Little kids, old people, they're, they're the same thing. Is anybody going to talk about why that old man is looking down at this kid so menacingly? Dude sitting there like, why you little twerp? This is my territory. Did you know this is a world without bees? This is a world without trees and animals. This is a world without humans. Ah, yes. Eliminate all humans. Excellent suggestion. 1989, throw them into chemical waste. 2019, throw them into society. Why do we have to use the Joker to make such profound statements? It's like, it's not my fault. It's society's fault. Like, ah, uh, just stop. I live in Spain, but the S is silent. 14 year olds. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You see, all that crap you watch on TV might as well come from your toilet. Ugh, why do I feel like I'm getting lectured? This is, <laughs> this is awful. Sure, TV can be bad. That's not a new statement, but come on. Connecting it to your toilet, is that really necessary? Everyone says, Sophia, wow, your body is so amazing. I've decided that the least important thing about me is my body. It's just the case that holds my heart. Imagine if we valued our phone cases more than we value our phones. Sophia, don't worry. This, what you've just posted right here, is just a phase, I, I promise. Are you a morning person or a night person? Me? I'm barely even a person. Mm, I don't know. You look pretty human to me. The power of reading. Uh, you know, you just open a book in the dark and then all of a sudden you're nocturnal, I guess. Is, is that how reading a book works? <laughs> Why doesn't Velma from Scooby-Doo do this? Then she'd never lose her glasses again. Wow, thanks power of reading, I guess. We spend our entire lives gathering guests for our funeral. Just think about that. Wow, that's so true. I bet the r slash shower thought post that you got this from would really agree with you. What is more painful, childbirth or being the child who was born? Haha, <laughs> get it? Cause, cause life is pain? Pills and surgery? Oh, you see, everybody's in the line for pills and surgery, but when it comes to lifestyle changes, nobody wants to make a commitment. I mean, surely this person might have a point, but like, they're definitely not talking about America. Surgery is way too expensive for us to just jump to it. When I listen to this, I feel like I am a murderer. Actually, that's true. I am a murderer. I've killed my own emotions. <laughs> Uh, hello, police? I think this man is a murderer. Uh, do you mean a murderer? He just murdered his own emotions. I think I'm next. Guys don't talk about our feelings because we get made fun of or the person we trust leaves. Guys are like a glass cup. Once they're broken, they can be put back together, but not all the way. They're still damaged. Wait a second, what? When you break a glass cup, you don't put the glass together. Nobody does that. I, I see what you're trying to do, but even this analogy is wrong. Your imaginary friend is not real. A few moments later. Dear God, our Lord and savior. Oh, <laughs> I'm not touching this one. Yeah, no, uh, next meme. No matter how much I sleep, I'm always tired. I'm sick of this crap. Okay, let's be honest. That is a serious issue. And I feel like a lot of people can empathize with this notion. But was it really a good idea to use Family Guy to express this point? I, I feel like you could have used something a little more uh, serious, I guess. No, Ferb. I don't know what we're going to do today. Oh, man. Things are really cooling down in the Phineas and Ferb fandom. 50 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, 
180 miles an hour, 260 miles an hour. Oh, rest in peace. I, I mean, to be fair, if you're going that fast, yeah, a casket is the only way out. This isn't really deep more than it is just kind of a fact. I see no big talent in you. Sir, you also can't see Jupiter in the sky. It doesn't mean it's not there. Ah, yes, this is totally a normal back and forth of a teacher and student, not a scenario made by somebody who wanted to make a seemingly profound statement. No, 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 this is so deep. If I jump, let me sink. <laughs> Why a minion? Why are we using minions for this? You're trying to make it so profound and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Grandma making you a delicious meal or a super cute girl making you a disgusting meal. Everyone, oh, shut up and take me, my money. Like Aw, poor grandma. When society says no, I say yes. Ah, come on, who is this for? And like, what's the satisfaction you get from making something like this? You just look back at this meme, you're like, haha, take that society. Like, no, it's, it's just lame. Ah, yes, America's national anthem. And McDonald's red glare, the Starbucks over there. There, gave Peru through the Nikes that are Walmart still there. Yeehaw, capitalist America. Toy Story taught us that appearances really do trick you. Oh uh, yeah, that baby spider, actually a really good character. But that teddy bear, oh, uh, he, he's real me. Why am I explaining the plot of Toy Story to you? What? You invade this pristine world, claiming it as your own simply by your presence. You slaughter innocent animals for their hides and their flesh. You devastate the landscape and gouge out the earth to build your monuments to vanity, and yet you call me the monster. Yeah, cause you're a creeper. Like I get they're trying to make a profound point, but no, the creeper is very much still the monster. Oh, I'm so sad with my big old brain. That's right, remove it doctor. There you go, I removed your brain. Yay, I'm happy. I mean, hey, if he's happy, I don't see how this is a bad thing at all. I see this as an absolute win. I mean, look at that smile. Or, or maybe not, it is kind of creepy. School taught me how to read and write, but the streets taught me how to survive. Oh, did they now? Did did they, Bart Simpson? <laughs> Society has made me this way. No, I'm pretty sure your lack of a barber did this to you. Julia says, body, trying to survive. Mind, don't want to. Parents, busy. Me, don't care anymore. Mouth, I'm fine. Voice, I'm not. Face, I'm pretty. Wrists, I'm not. Brain, I'm smart. Heart, I'm broken. Soul, someone please see me. Hear me screaming. Society, why are you gay? Everyone, so useless. Death, hello, let us have tea together. Ha, <laughs> r slash. I'm 14 and this is deep. Number one, woke up. Number two, went to school. Number three, I saw my crush. Number four, I hugged my crush. Number five, I kissed my crush. Number six, I cried. Pick the correct order. Hmm. So you saw your crush, you hugged your crush, then you kissed your crush, but then you woke up. Then you cried and went to school. <laughs> yes, bro. Same idea, different designs. So you got a mouse trap, then you have a bear trap, and lastly, you have a, a, a wedding ring. Oh, be careful. That's how they get you. Let's just be glad these things aren't interchangeable. Can you imagine? Just... <laughs> My leg! Oh honey, you found my wedding bear trap. Get it off of me, it hurts! So is that a yes? <laughs> Rabbits jump and they live for eight years. Dogs run and they live for 15 years. Turtles do nothing and they live for 150 years. What do you mean turtles do nothing? Turtles are freaking epic and they live longer. Are you dissing turtles? What are you, some kind of weirdo? Imagine if trees gave off Wi-Fi signals. We'd be planting so many trees, we would probably save the planet. Too bad they only produce the oxygen we breathe. Ugh, stupid trees. You see, the camera is fake, but the happiness is real. I love the kid in the green shirt. He's like, uh, you, you guys know he's not actually taking the picture, right? People who are unable to hear, wearing a hearing aid. People who don't want to hear. Oh uh, yeah, all the jerks wearing earbuds, I guess are, why is that a bad thing? Here's a sad playlist for sad people. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sad. Bart Simpson totally gets me. Girls playing video games. Duh, I don't know what I'm doing. Girls playing with your feelings. <laughs> All right, who's the sad sap who made this? Clearly they're going through something. They're sitting over their computer like, why won't you love me, Vanessa? Hmm, if I chop down this tree and then use the wood to make a beacon, I can pray to this God for pears. Ah, uh, yes, the most dim-witted lumberjack. My mother. No, my mother. Then when she's old, she's your mother. No, you can have her, she's your mom. Meanwhile, the mom's like, boy, stop pushing me. I brought you into this world and I can take you out. Fudge you. You see, I'm not single, nor am I taken. I'm done. Well, 
that's so deep. Yeah, totally, bro. Rich people? Life is so hard. Other rich person? I can relate. Guys, rich people can have problems too. Just look at me. Wait a second, I'm not rich. Yeah, but I do have problems. So yeah, I'm still 50% correct. Have you ever noticed that all the instruments searching for intelligent life are all pointed away from Earth? Yeah, because how stupid would it be just pointing at Earth? It would sound like... Oh God, Johnson, turn off the satellite, please. It's killing my ears. 14 year olds don't deserve rights. 14 year olds are too emotional. 14 year olds shouldn't have opinions on blank topic. 14 year olds are too stupid to have bodily autonomy. Now replace 14 year olds with women. Doesn't seem so quirky and funny now, does it? Oh wow, what an intelligent point you made. You see, this is one of those tweets where they look back on it and they're gonna be like, yikes. The FBI stands for the Facebook and Instagram database. I mean, that's not true but sure, let's pretend like this is facts. Twitter, zero days since someone asked for an edit button. Whatever you do, do not introduce the edit button. I once asked my dad for an eraser and he said it was a waste of an item. I objected saying I needed to erase or correct my mistakes. Why would you commit mistakes in the first place? Said my dad, took me years to understand. Yeah, but everybody makes mistakes and everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way, right, Beethoven? Am I the only 14 year old that actually likes this? Probably not, bro. Stop trying to be unique. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that's tough love. Oh, look at all these big buildings destroying the little guy through the age of time. Seriously, as far as artistic pieces go, you really do just have a very stereotypical way of presenting imagery, but you know what, do you? When we close our eyes, it becomes dark. Uh, yes, that, that's what happens. Is this person really just discovering what blinking is? Like, <laughs> In 1963, the Bronx Zoo had an exhibit called The Most Dangerous Animal in the World. It was a mirror. Oh man, that's so deep. It totally wasn't just a quirky prop that the zoo used to attract people. No, no, no. This is such a profound message. When Lamborghini said, we don't do commercials because our target audience isn't sitting around watching TV. That hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah, sure. You know, you're still probably not gonna buy a Lamborghini, but sure, don't watch TV. What a flex. People trying to fool me on April 1st. Me who got betrayed and got played several times in life. Haha, <laughs> nice try, but my whole life is a joke. Oh yeah, we're totally best friends. Total besties. Meanwhile, in reality, they're all just snakes. And that's not to say that they're deceptive or fake people. No, they're all reptilian snakes. They're all part of a secret reptile rebellion that's gonna take over society. What do, what, what do you mean that's not what the meme's trying to say? I feel so dirty with my regular car, but thanks to this electric car, I feel so clean. So yeah, again, the moral of the story, humans are just awful. I guess, is that what you want? Is that what you want us to say? That we're just self-destructive viruses destroying the world that we inhabit? Why does it have to be so depressing? It's not even deep, it's just pessimistic. Don't worry. Sorry, mom, I'm fine. A few moments later. <laughs> Why do earthlings never use telepathy? Because they have a lot to hide from each other. So true, Soldier Boy. Not every closed door is locked. Just push it. Ah, oh, no. Is Soldier Boy gonna become the new Jaden Smith? Ah, oh, please, anything but that. Before COVID? Oh my gosh, that person's got a mask on. Ah, oh, they must be sick. I gotta get away from them. During COVID? Oh my god, that person's not wearing a mask. We gotta get away from them. Yeah, it's almost as if when social standards change, so do behaviors. Isn't that so strange? No, no, it's not. Please stop. This is what sad looks looks like. Hmm. This is what depressed looks like. Hmm. Learn the difference. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would like for them to cite their sources on this one. Something tells me not every depressed person has this very rudimentary face. Shut up, kid, while I beat your brain in. With what? With knowledge. Single mothers love dressing up their kids like the men who left them. Whoa, geez, that's a hot take. I think these kids look pretty cool. What, you don't think these kids look cool? What are you, some kind of weirdo? Parents, you're so freaking lazy. School, do better. Friends, I wish I never met met you. Boyfriend or girlfriend? Why did I ever date you? Music? It's okay to screw everyone. Okay, first off, if your friends are saying, I wish I never met you, they're probably not your friends. More than that, if they're all saying that, then you're probably the problem. And lastly, it is not okay to screw everyone. Come on, man, that's just wrong. I miss life when my only problem was this. Ah, <sighs> don't we all, my friend, don't we all? Sorry, sir, no baggage allowed. Ah, yes, the reality of life. I wonder if there's a living person who just visits the graveyard and is like, oh man, there's so much money here. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? Knowing we'll never be those same two kids again. Knowing we'll never get to relive that wonderful summer again. It never stopped hurting. Am I the only one who feels like they're trying too hard to be relatable? There are two types of people. Which one are you? Are you the sad one who sits at the table alone and hungry? Or are you the one to make 
food outside. Wait, so the two type of people are the people who eat and don't eat? Well, in that case, aren't we all the same person? Because I'm pretty sure everybody eats. As you see, the rich feed the poor so that the poor can feed the rich. And the cycle never stops. Too fat, too skinny, too common looking, too different looking, too everything. Ah, screw you, society. Quit telling us we need to change. Sorry, I really hate society. Why did 1,500 people like this? I might as well put poop in the comment section if people are just gonna like it anyways. I tested negative for COVID-19, but I tested positive for depression, anxiety, overthinking, and ugliness. Jeez, what a mean test. Can you imagine the doctor coming back to you like, yeah, so we ran some tests and, uh, you ugly as hell, son. What? You, <laughs> G-L-A-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you to ugly. See if I had the what? Virus. what? Why are you, you saying ugly? this? I'm so sorry. Uh-huh, see? Smoking is bad for you. You smoke a couple of ciggies and the next thing you know, <laughs> Your heart explodes. How sad. Oh, I feel so dead. Well, it's time to put on my suit of skin and pretend like everything's okay. Oh, well, that's just creepy. What the news says? This just in, animal attacks sheep. What's really going on? Well, it appears that the animal is helping the sheep out of the water. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Not everything is how it seems. Although I'm pretty sure this animal is killing the sheep. Moral of the story? Don't help sheep out of the water? I, I guess? Honestly, I'm really confused here. When I was born, the devil said, Oh crap, competition. <laughs> Uh, sure he did, pal. Life is full of fake people. Trust no one. All right, I'll be the first to say that this is pretty awful advice. Surely trusting no one can't get you far in life. Imagine a therapy session going like, so today we're gonna talk about your trust issues. Oh, sure we are. How do I even know you're a therapist? Uh, okay, calm down Are you now. a fake therapist? Hey, hey, is everything down. fake? I oh, said calm God, down. what's happening? Don't judge people for the choices they make when you don't know the options they had to choose from. Honey, come downstairs. I made chicken nuggets. Mom, I'm trying to make a picture collage. Get out of my room. And with that, everyone, that's going to conclude this episode of r slash I'm 14 and this is deep. Now, if you feel even the slightest bit bad for these poor teenagers who have to live through this phase, then consider hitting the like button down below. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our easy peasy uploads. Now, I'm your host, David the Baker, and you got to promise me to never become one of these people. I can't wait to see you in the next video. So till then, peace out and three thumbs up.